Okay guys, welcome back to Codger Corner. And I know this video has kind of been a little long time coming, but I wanted to, the reason I wanted to wait on this one and I wanted to have a little more mileage under my belt with all of these <clears throat> as to when I made my kind of final decisions, um, you know, I wanted to have uh, where I'd, I'd use them all quite a bit. And that way, when I give you guys the results, at least you know that, you know, I went through a box each. Um, well, well, with the exception of this one, I've been through several boxes of those. But um, but anyway, um, so that I can kind of report on a lot of other things that have happened along the way in the Battle of the Matches. So this is the conclusion. Um, I'll tell you kind of what my top match is. Uh, and guys, this is, this is all for fun. Uh, in the end, you can take any match and you can... Let it burn off the sulfur, and you're probably going to have a pretty good experience. Uh, and if you don't want to mess with matches, as many of my viewers and, and uh, uh, longtime subscribers have said, this, hey, just use a lighter, <laughs> which is great. And I use the Zippo very often, So um, because as you guys know, most of the time I'm relocated to the patio. So, But without further ado, so <clears throat> I've gone through one box um, of all of these matches, again, except the Swan Vestas, which I've had for years, so I could talk about them forever. Um, but we'll talk about the three-star safety matches. Uh, first, this was my last category. Uh, this, These are not my favorite matches. Matter of fact, these matches, to me, are really expensive kitchen matches. So if you're going to um, spend your money, this is just my opinion. Um, I mean, these guys... Or even the, uh, the the big box of kitchen matches will serve you just as well. These imparted a chemical taste every single time. Uh, no matter how much I tried to mitigate it, uh, they, they are not my favorite. So that being said, I will use the rest of them that I ordered. I had to order like six of them, I think. Um, but, I, you know, these were my last spot for my preference. Okay, and there's another picture of that match, so you can kind of see. Okay, so we'll set that over here. Second from the bottom is Arango. Now, one of my other subscribers and friends, I'll call him Brian Quilty, who's up from the great state of Canada, <laughs> he made a comment <clears throat> in one of my videos, and he's very, he's absolutely correct. Um, it, these, <laughs> these are the most inconsistent of all the matches I've ever tried. Um, Sometimes there's kind of a chemical taste. Sometimes there's not. Sometimes it's one of the purest matches that I've had. They're just very inconsistent. And I don't know, um, when, I, when I showed these before, um, and you can see them on here, there's a resin. I, I guess that's what it is. You can see like one right there. And I don't know if they're dipped in something, if they're sprayed with something. I don't know if that makes a... Makes, um, part of what, what is so inconsistent with them, but literally almost every match that you'll get out of one of these books has been different for me. <clears throat> now, again, this is this is all, you know, I'm, I'm just lighting it and lighting my pipe. So um, again, you, well, you could even, but again, I would think even if you burned it past, now this one, eh, a little bitty bit there, you can kind of see a little discoloring, not much, but a little bit. Um, you know, if you let it burn down far enough, it may all be the same. But um, but anyway, the reason that I'm giving this in the second to last place is because they're just inconsistent. So again, I ordered, a, uh, I think, eight boxes of these. I'll go through them. No big deal, but I won't order more of these personally. All right, so that's Arango. Swan Vestas. So... Um, one of my viewers said that you can get Swan Vestas on Amazon. I did look. I couldn't find them on Amazon. Um, that doesn't mean that he didn't. Um, but if you can find them, I think they're a great match um, overall. Uh, good length. They're not too long. Again, here is uh, the Swans. Um, but I will say that now, knowing what I know with... All of the other matches and the one you're going to see here in a second, these have dropped into second place for me. Um, I have a lot of them left. I have, I'll check over here in my drawer really quick. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I got 25 matchbooks left. 
Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to keep using these guys. But um, but I will say that because of what's going on with the next one, they have been booted out of King in my match uh, collection. So, and that brings us, which I can't believe I'm saying this, cricket matches. The really funny thing is I think a lot of these are made by the same company. And what they do, I don't know. Somebody, um, one of my other subscribers said he had a friend who was uh, a distributor for him. Maybe he can tell us. Leave it in the comments. It's all good, man. Um, you know, let me know if, if there's a different line, if it's a different factory, if it's a different uh, tiered levels of quality. I don't know. But I will say these guys... And they are readily available from the only place I've seen them so far, but I haven't looked dug deep, is Country Squire Tobacconist, uh, which you'll be supporting a small business, which is even better. I mean, that's like the icing on the cake, guys, is cricket matches. I have not had a single match now that tasted chemical at all. Um, they're just great. A um, little bit longer, so you could use them for cigars too, uh, which is a, a bonus. Um, got the red tip. A uh, tad bit thicker. Whoop, I'm just looking through the viewfinder. Um, so you've got a little bit more real estate there. Um, you get 50 matches uh, in a packet or in a, in a matchbook. Um, they say they contribute to the uh, preserving the environment and reduction of acid rain. I don't know how they're doing that, but hey, that's cool. I'm, I'm, I'm all for that. Uh, the striker has been good. Again, this is a new box because I threw my other box away. I finished them. But, um, but you know, guys, I... I I like them. I say this is number one for sulfur-free matches. Uh, that's my opinion. So, um, guys, I hope you enjoyed the just this you know little match battle. And um, you know, I had fun making it. It's all it's all in good fun. So, uh, but yeah, these are you're gonna see these a lot more on the on the channel. So, as usual, uh, until next time, we'll see you soon.